Hello everyone, welcome to the Adorn region. I am your host, Adorn himself. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Violet series, already in progress here on the Adorn region channel. If you're wondering why there's a shining light and a fountain in front of us, all you have to do is check out the playlist in the description below. And while you're down there, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those things you ought to do when supporting a YouTube channel. Spoilers in 3, 2, 1, well... That water wheel goes up to a gym that we defeated, and here's a weird little camera view thing that I feel like doing right now for some reason. Uh, so, we have beaten the water gym, which gives us four gym badges and a bunch of other ones. Uh, today, in this episode, we will be traveling and or doing, depending on how far away it is, the Team Star Poison crew, which I do not know where it is, and therefore we'll be running around in circles trying to find it. Uh, we are here. This is another gem. We are looking for a blue one. So that is going to be one of the... It's either you, you... That sound right? Okay, so let's, uh, let's do a little zoom in section here. Uh, I feel like it would be you. Nope, it's not. This is the fighting crew. Uh, that would be this one because it's, you know, literally uh, lighted up like, a, like an exclamation point. Uh, so... We are going to do the Starfall Street one, the Poison Crew Base, storming the Poison Crew Base, Atticus of the Navi Squad, boss of the Team Star Poison Crew. Atticus is a middling strength among the Team Star bosses, a descendant of ninjas, or so he believes. He likes to dress the part and use fancy speech and poison skills to toy with foes. That is great. I'm totally not terrified at all. Um, I did not want to do that quite yet. Uh... Because we're going there, we might as well take the opportunity to fly nearby, which would be this one. Right here. Have we seen the... That seems like a really short distance. Let's go. And here we are. There's a Pokeball right there. I need to heal a Bellabolt who has quickly risen up the rankings as some of my favorite... Bellabolt in general is one of my favorites uh, of the, the mons that I've sort of gotten to know. Anything that's on this team is is, is goaded. Um, with the exception of Flittle, not because it's not, it can't be goaded. Because I don't know what to do <laughs> about Flittle yet. Um, we might... Well, there it is. Uh, honestly, we might get it done today. The, the star base, because I don't see anything that would prevent us from doing it. Uh, let's take a quick look around. Let's grab some of these various items, like a damp rock and a heat rock. Uh, let's slowly make our way over that way. I think I'm also going to try to see if I can find anything, any new Pokemon, any interesting things. Whoa, speaking of, hello, you are a new one. Come on. That's a new Pokemon, all right. That looks like a mini one of the cars that they have. Varum, yeah, that feels like a mini car. Um, I'm going to mudshot and cross my fingers. No, it's too much. All right, so not a particularly powerful Pokemon, but that is a something of interest. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, folks. I know. You, I wanted to catch it, too. Uh, that one over here is just like, I'm, I'm not bothering with this. Uh, there was a Pokemon over here, perhaps. Or there's a Pokeball, at least. Torkoal. Do we have Torkoal? Since it's right there, I'm going to use the opportunity to try to grab as much as I can. Drought in the sunlight turns harsh out of nowhere. Uh, Torkoal is new. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's go with a mud shot here. If this is going to be super effective, then I gotta... Alright, that's good. I mean, not super effective, sorry. If that's going to do full damage, then that might be an issue. Clear smog. Stat changes eliminated doesn't matter too much, but that boosts that up a little bit. I'm not going to use it, though. We can go with another mud shot, which should be enough to put you in range. Perfect. Uh, I believe we've caught that bramble... Thing in the background. Is that overheat? I didn't see what move that was. A lava plume, that's it. Well, let's use this great ball. Come on, Torkoal. Okay, Torkoal said no. Lava plume again. We are in the danger zone right now. And the burn, that's not good. Uh, do we have any full restores with us just randomly? Those would be nice right now. Let's check this out. Uh, max Potion. Oh, we don't have any full restores. Let's switch you out, actually, then. Uh, let's switch you out for Knackle Stack, because you'll... I, I don't... Does Rock resist? I'm not sure if Rock resists. We'll find out. 
lava plume here. It's fine as I doubt. Not very effective. That's good. Okay, we can tank a couple of those. Let's go for another Great Ball here. Again, nothing. Is Storkle normally this uh, difficult to grab? Oh, the Sunlight was probably playing a role there as well. You are getting Knight. You do. I could go for you. Oh, let's go for another Great Ball, but we have the, the Dusk Ball if needed. Gosh, that is nothing. Lava Bloom again. This probably won't do... Yeah, that's... Danger zone, but not ultimately a big deal. Let's go for the dark, the dusk ball, sorry. Come on, it's nighttime. Hey, there we go. A little complicated, but we got it done. And a bunch of experience points for a few folks, including uh, Knuckles not getting a move. Let's recover. I don't think I would use it, but I'm fascinated that you can learn it. Well, well, well. Welcome, Torkoal. Uh, number 150, Torkoal, the coal Pokemon of pure fire type. Coal is the source of Torkoal's energy. Large amounts of coal can be found in the mountains where they live. Uh, no nickname here. You can go to the box. According to the list... Or actually, not even according to the list. According to our map here. Uh, hold up. Please don't fight me. Um, let's go zoom out all the way. So we've done four badges of Victory Road. We've done two of Starfall. And we've done three of Path of Legends. That's nine of the 18. So we are halfway done. Um, and I have five of the six members, which actually, now that I think about it, it seems about right. Okay. I was wondering if, like, should I have my sixth member by now or not? But it, it, with how I usually play the games, this seems about fair. Having most of the team in the front, and then you typically add one person three quarters of the way in, right? It's usually the, the legendary, but I'm trying to think. Uh, is there anyone else? In those runs, I'm trying to think of recent runs that I've done, but it's been so long since I played through a game uh, without any knowledge of anything at all. Uh, most of them are either like remakes or, you know, have some prior knowledge, like Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. I had a team in mind because I wanted to play with the same team as my original uh, Diamond and Pearl team. Um, then before that, Sword and Shield, I, my first playthrough was a Nuzlocke, so that kind of made things a little uh, random. Is there something there? No. Uh, and then before that, what's before that? And then Ultra Moon, I, I just can't remember when I got everybody. But uh, I do know I got everybody at a certain point. And uh, speaking of certain points, I think now is the time to head on in. If there's a little route here. Maybe we can find a new Pokemon here. Like something in this tree here. What is this? Oh, it's Fugus. Why are you hiding in the bushes? Um, let's go... Spark. Why not? I don't think this is going to do too much damage. There's the Paralysis. That's good. Um, synthesis to heal. Okay, so you heal that back up. I just added the Paralysis on you. Um, let me think about this, actually. Could I go for much... Uh, this would be partial or super? Partial. Speed drop doesn't particularly matter. And the synthesis again. Okay, I see what you're, I see what you're doing. I don't particularly like it, but I see what you're doing. The biggest thing is that you're not hitting me, which I would prefer you did, honestly. Sweet send. Okay. The base in is harshly fell, but that's not going to matter if you don't hit me. Right now, I know you have synthesis and uh, sweet send. Come on, Mega Drain. There we go. That's three of our moves. That might be enough so that I can get the... That's the Electromorphous, um, but I don't want to use the Electric Boo. This might be enough to put you in red? Yes, okay. Uh, pick and choose what you want to do. Synthesis is not what I wanted you to do, okay. That is the third synthesis I believe it's used. That's going to put you up over 50. I'm just going to keep using Mudshot. Um, that's four, I believe. It's either four or five. Um, but you're almost out. Synthesis is five power points, right? I'm, I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, we're going to be here for a minute. Uh, there's a sweet scent. Fungus, do, doing what a fungus does, which is stall as long as possible. The only thing is, you haven't used Toxic on me. That's kind of what the stalling method is for. Or something equivalent. There's a Mega Drain. This might be... Ooh, do I want to take the risk? I'm going to go Mud Slap here. I know it's weaker. 
but it still accomplishes the same effect, and the accuracy prevents them from hitting me. That's the final synthesis he says hesitantly. Now we go mud shot. I'm gonna go for, have to go back and heal just for power points. Oh, you're poisoned. The clear smog is the final move. That's cool. Stat change were limited, so my evasiveness is back to normal, I guess. Anyway, this is as good of a time as any. We throw the ball. Uh, dealing with poison types. Poison types, poison types, poison types. I can't use Doggo. I could use Fungus, uh, not Fungus, um, I could use Belly Bolt, actually, with the dark, uh, the ground type moves you have. Um, do I use Flittle? Number 205, Fungus, the mushroom Pokemon, a grass poison type. This Pokemon prefers damp places. It spurts out... It spurts out poison spores to repel approaching enemies. Not sure why, I read spurts and then just thought that wasn't a real word out of nowhere. Uh, to the boxes you go. That's another capture. I believe we are actually... Pokedex-wise, relatively close to the next, um, like, bonus item thing, anything. Hey, there we go. 90 volumes, and as such, we get Nest Ball. I don't know how useful that is. Nest, I think, is for lower level, so it might not be the ideal thing. There's a Pine Co. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... There's a crowd behind me here. I'm going to go back heal, and then I'll be back up front to uh, actually go through this forest. Uh, after getting out of this fight, though. Alright, everyone, we are back. Now, um, we have reached the halfway point of the episode, or, like, my rough halfway point of the episode, and so let's do this plot thing, because that's what I was about to say, or imply. Ah, oh, here he is. Clavel, I mean, Clive, right? Madurin! Hey there, Clive. Glad to see you've got my name committed to memory. Now then, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Um, what was Clavel? Clavel's voice, I think, was something similar to that, right? Master Nimona! So it's like, a little bit hipper. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from other Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Jordan. He just disappeared. I mean, we're taking on this base. Right now. Yeah, right now. Um, there's a light there, but I don't know what the, the, I think that's a TM, but just in case. Yep, Toxic Spice, hiding in the, in the bushes for some reason. There's a couple of Pokemon here I'm intrigued by, including whatever that is. There's a Venonat, there's this. What is this? Oh, it's the, 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 the ink. Thing. We've already got one of those, I believe. Come on, somewhere here. No? Oh, that's the evolution, I think. And it's just staring back at me. I'm... However, I think the easiest thing to do is just go on ahead. Why is there a child there? Alright, we got Belly Bolt in the front. I think we'll go with you. I don't want you. I think we'll bring... We'll bring Fiddle, Flittle in. I think we'll do these three as the three when we walk in. Alright, let's find out what's going on with this, with this toddler. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Quad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leading to let me talk to Don Atticus. He's probably a little bit better of a voice than that. Give me a break, you little doofus. People over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Get a little closer. They both do the same thing, but sure. Huh? What's up? Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Well now, Mr. Grant, I think this boy might be a Durin. This kid knows who I am. Are you a subscriber? You know you can be a subscriber at home. Wait a minute. Why does this kid have my exact getup? What's going on here? He's got the pants, he's got the shoes, he's got the jacket, he's got the tie and the yellow shirt. Only thing he's missing is the glasses and the hat. 
Wait, a door. That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? The one and only. <laughs> Prepare to be raided. I like this. Prepare your arsenal. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everybody else in the base still sleeps and we were up all, all night last night playing video games. Leave them to me, Mr. Grant. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Kid, I thought you... What? Yeah, and what's in it for you? Dynaticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis call, one has no choice but to rally to those who dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Adios. Team Star, you know, hoo-ha, all that. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Child? Who do you think you are? Yeah, wait a sec. Discretion is the best part, better part of valor, as the saying goes. Wise choice. Can I just walk away? Uh, excuse me, young child. The, uh, what are you doing? All right, you villain. Yeah, bring it on. All right, come on. Yeah! Are you going to literally fight me? Nope, oh, here we go. A challenge by Pokemon trainer Yusuf. Okay, okay, maybe maybe I'm still wearing the default clothing. That might be the part of the problem there. Hello, it's a gulpin. You know what I need? I need from the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, I need the Petra Scarf. That would be great right now. Um, instead, we're going with Plan Q, which is uh, chuck a bunch of mud at them. Stockpile can get dangerous quickly. And the defense is rose, that's not good. Uh, but this is where Bella Bolt, you throw some mud. That did not do as much as I thought it would. Speed drop, which is nice, but hoping for a little bit more. We're faster now, that's a that's a bad side for Gulpin. If you're slower than Bella Bolt here, you know if I swallow, that's gonna heal you. Your defenses fall back down, which might make this next attack actually knock you out. Maybe? Knock you out, maybe? Ah, oh, just barely. Alright, what's the game plan now, Gulpin? I had a feeling. This is where I find out. Does this count towards the ability? It doesn't. Okay, if it did, that would that would make this ability broken. Um, instead, though, we'll just go Mudslap because it's guaranteed to hit. Gulpin's down. We're going to take some more damage here. But I'm not concerned yet, he says, hesitantly. Everyone gets some nice little experience. Bellboat's all the way up to 30 already. Uh, I'm going to keep you in... Shrewdle, gotcha. Shrewdle, shrewdle, shrewdle. I don't think I should be... Oh, well, maybe I should be. I did a decent amount of damage there. If I was using electric-type moves, this would be bad for you. Alright. I think... Maybe we are good enough? If we were still in the green, I'd feel confident about this, but I don't, will we stay alive? Alright, oh yeah, yeah, that didn't do as much as I thought it did. Uh, this should finish this. Yep. Down it goes. And that's a win for us. Um, I talk bit, but I'm no warrior. You're a warrior with 1600 bucks in your pocket. What? Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Durin, uh, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Uh, no fair. You had backup this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy's students? Doesn't look like, look like he's from Team Star. You're right. I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. But do it. I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go on ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Where are your parents? Okay. Rototo. Nice work dealing with the guard. Oh wait, no, it needs to be more like Siri and uh, kind of off and on. Within that base lies Team Star's boys and crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy is also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell 
on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi Squad off the map. And that is the case here. The base itself, we will do the entirety of the Team Star base in the next episode. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave it here. Starting off the introduction there, I wonder what Don Atticus did to help out that young child so much. Can I look at it from this point of view? No, I can't. What is this? Looks like a beware for a second. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's just a squirrel. It's just huge. Okay, I was like, why are you so different? Kamala's there. Who else do I see? There's a bunch of painted stuff here as well. Anyway, there's a bunch of cool stuff here, basically, is what I'm pointing out. Um, and I'm interested to see what type of Pokemon we end up finding. But, easy to... Hello. I don't know what you're trying to do. Anyway. Uh, we're going to end the episode here. Next time we go into that base that's right behind this wall, but will be magically generated in as soon as I ring that bell. Uh, and we'll proceed with that. Thank you everyone for listening, watching, and supporting in any way, shape, or form that you do. And until next time, take care.